Hi, it's Diana with Friday Feathered Facts again. Uh, unfortunately, though, this time we have to do an update on the highly pathogenic avian influenza, the avian flu, because it's still here. Now, during the summer, it sort of lays down quiet, gets quieter. But during the spring and fall waterfowl migrations, we find more and more sick and dead birds that test positive for it. So it hasn't gone anywhere. It's still with us. Now, as we've said before, for the waterfowl, it can, they, can, they can have it, they can carry it with no symptoms and be just fine, but they can still pass it on. Or they can get sick and recover. Or they can die. Now, we have a problem with uh, raptors and other scavengers who eat, eat uh, or who catch uh, sick birds because they're easy prey or eat dead carcasses. And when raptors contract the avian flu, there is a 100% mortality rate. Now that's large falcons, that's hawks, that's eagles, and vultures, okay? The other part of it is uh, poultry, uh, chickens, turkeys, that sort of thing. The commercial farms have culled millions of birds over the last two years. Now, if you're a backyard poultry breeder, your birds are susceptible too, so you want to take some care that they don't contract it. And one of the main ways that can happen is if you're out walking around the water somewhere, enjoying the day, and you walk home and feed your chickens without changing your boots. It is transmitted by fecal matter, and you can have it on the bottom of your shoes and then leave it in your chicken coop for them. And for poultry, it is also 100% fatal. So you want to take some care with that. We have discovered that it's zoonotic, which means it's transmissible to mammals. So the scavengers in the animal world, coyotes, bobcats, things like that, can also contract it, as can humans. That's quite, quite rare, but it's not nothing. So you got to pay attention here. Now, for you waterfowl hunters, you guys that are out there after the geese and the ducks, um, I hope your retriever has a soft mouth and doesn't want to play tug of war with the bird with you. Okay? Do not let your dog chew on dead waterfowl. Okay? That's how it's transmitted to them. So be careful that way. Now, when you get your goose, you want to dress it in the field. Put it, the, the leftovers in a plastic bag then take off your disposable gloves that hopefully you were wearing, put them in a second plastic bag, and then seal the top and you're ready to put it in the bin, okay? Do not leave it in the field for the scavengers because you don't know whether that bird was infected or not and we don't want to pass it on to the scavenger community. Now, when you cook it, that kills the pathogens. So you're safe with your Christmas goose, okay? Just make sure it's thoroughly cooked. Do not, please, if you find a sick or a dead bird, whatever kind it is, don't touch it. Contact your local wildlife people and let them know where it is so they can go collect it. If you do touch any dead animal, this is just kind of common sense, it's really a good idea if you can wear disposable gloves and protect yourself because you don't know what's going on there. So it's best not to touch them at all, okay? So thanks for checking in, you guys. Happy hunting, waterfowl people. We'll see you next time.